Hello, today I'm going to uh, discuss some details regarding hardware specification of my uh, prototype quadruped robot. Uh, also, I'm going to go over Flask application, Python web application, which is able to send uh, orders and uh, prop, uh, simple instructions, instructions to this robot through the Wi-Fi network. Uh, let's start from the main unit, which is the um, Jetson Nano single board computer. This is ARM64 architecture, very popular now uh, in robotics, uh, mostly replacing the old well-known Raspberry Pi. Mm. This is um, highly efficient when it comes to machine learning, uh, highly efficient unit. Uh, there are uh, multiple um, versions of this uh, computer. I'm using the simplest one which is a developer kit having two gigabytes of RAM. Um, I'm also using a cooling fan, which is which I recommend to everyone who, who would like to start uh, the programming this uh, device because it's getting hot very quickly. Also, I'm going to use some uh, a real uh, solid state drive to, to boot it, but I need to rebuild the uh, Linux kernel here to properly recognize USB 3 standard. Uh, for now I'm using the uh, simple micro SD card which is uh, not very good. There, there are some lags. I, I'm not sure whether it's the, the issue of my particular micro SD card or, or general issue when it comes to uh, Jetson Nano. Um, so the operating system doesn't uh, respond some, sometimes. It, it's hanging uh, from time to time for a couple of seconds which I don't like. Mm. And this Jetson Nano unit is communicating with the, the movement unit, I would say. This is a control unit uh, composed with Arduino Leonardo and the Dynamixel Shield from Robotis. And uh, there is a C++ program simply receiving uh, orders and trying to uh, execute them. Uh, so then once it receives order through the through the serial, serial connector, it sends the information to all those joints composed from Dynamixel uh, servo motors. Uh, so we are able to execute movement, uh, rotating, uh, turning back, swinging and other functions, uh, which I am going to show you in a minute. Um, one thing important to mention is the RP leader here, which is the uh, unit responsible for the collision avoidance and, uh, and the general self-awareness feature of this robot. Um, this Arpilera started to program, uh, but I'm not going to show you this right now. Just, it just, it, it, it's, you know, uh, not, not ready yet. Uh, and here we have a 8 megapixel web camera. Uh, this is the Raspberry V2 version which is communicating over this 15 pin cable with the Jetson Nano board. It will be responsible for the obstacle recognition, uh, some phase detection and uh, other fancy stuff that I'm going to implement uh, on top of this platform. When it comes to powering the, the, the robot, I'm using two separate DC-DC step-down converters, one which is used for the powering Jetson Nano and the second one on the left, which is used to for powering the um, MCU, I mean Arduino and Dynamixel Shield. Uh, in uh, standby mode, as you can see, it is consuming close to one ampere, uh, which is plenty. Uh, so in reality, we would need maybe some bigger battery. For now, I'm using the close to 3000 milliampere Ampere hours uh, extreme battery pack here, which is not connected right now because for convenience uh, in my uh, let's say laboratory I'm using a laboratory power supply. Uh, okay, now let's try to invoke this uh, simple Flask application uh, here. which should start on 5000 port. Yeah, it's running. Let's switch to Chromium. 
Okay, and refresh the application. So as you can see, this is a simple robot control panel uh, where you have uh, six functions for now. A lot of more uh, commands are implemented, but uh, you know, this is the early stage of the project. Um, so how it works, uh, once you click on some button, it invokes the REST endpoint mm. in a Python application. So this Python application uh, get the orders along with some parameters and then send this order through the serial interface to the MCU, uh, I mean Arduino Leonardo, which is interpreting the order, sending back the confirmation and then it starts executing the command and it executes as long uh, until it receives the next command from the from the control unit. Uh, okay, all works uh, over Wi-Fi network. Network. So uh, this Jetson Nano is using this Wi-Fi dongle here, uh, and I am connected to the Jetson Nano single board computer uh, through the remote the remote desktop application from my Windows machine. Uh, right now, and this browser browser is running on uh, on a Jetson Nano. Okay, now let's try to start to invoke some functions. Let's say it will be swinging. Yeah. So as you can see, my robot is is swinging. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, okay, now let's try to go back to home position and try to do something more sophisticated. I'd like my robot now to greet. Okay, thank you. Actually, I, have, I haven't a name for this robot so far. Maybe if you'd like to propose something, try to put this in a comment. Uh, okay, there is also a walking function, uh, but I'm not going to show you because I'm, you know, I don't want this robot to fall from my desk. <laughs> so maybe next time uh, I'm going to do some field test and some free, free walking uh, sequence based on some uh, inverse kinematics equations, mm, which I am still trying to understand and comprehend. There, is, there are a lot of methods uh, to implement inverse kinematics solvers. Uh, the one that I'm focusing is the Fabric, which is the um, iterative approach uh, used also in Unity in computer games. Um, but, you know, once it will be ready, I will show you. Um, so thank you for now. Bye.